Hi, Bill Hodges with Lincoln Electric, here with a few tips on how to optimize your ANOVA torch height control to help reduce part cycle time. The ANOVA is a highly customizable product with many features that can be adjusted, but today we're going to focus on the three that will help increase your production output, those being the partial raise height, crossover height, and touch speed. Before we begin, you want to ensure that the ANOVA is set to partial raise and that the AGI feature is turned on. AGI stands for Automatic Gas Initiation, and it allows the torch to purge its preflow gas as it's traveling down to Pierce Point. To turn on the AGI feature, simply touch Menu, Maintenance, AGI on and off. You will have a check mark at the bottom when it is in the on condition. Now we can set the partial raise height to reduce the amount of Z-axis travel time between pierces. To do that, you touch Menu, Set Raise Height, and enter a value such as 1.5 inches and hit enter. Next is the crossover height. The crossover height is the point in which the ANOVA switches from rapid inch down to the touch speed it uses when finding the plate. You want to set this to just below your partial raise height. In order to do that, you touch menu, maintenance, set cross height, then use a down arrow key to bring the torch to the height you choose. Touch set and then cancel to return to the maintenance page. The final setting is the touch speed. This is the travel speed of the torch when it reaches the crossover height and it can be adjusted from 10 to 99 inches a minute. To set the touch speed, press menu, set touch speed. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna set ours to 80 then press enter to return to the maintenance page. To demonstrate the result of how these parameters work together to decrease cycle time, we're now going to cut three four inch flanges out of quarter inch carbon steel, each having six three eighths inch bolt holes. Using typical settings like a 4 inch partial raise, longer crossover height, and slower touch speed, these parts nested on a 4 by 8 sheet will take approximately 3 hours and 20 minutes to produce. You'll notice right away how rapidly the torch is moving from pierce to pierce with these optimized settings. The end result is the same exceptional cut quality you expect, but now the same nest of parts will be completed in 2 hours and 15 minutes reducing the job time by more than Once you have programmed these settings for your particular cutting conditions, you should notice a significant increase in the number of parts produced per shift. That's all for now, but check back often for more tips on optimizing your Lincoln Electric cutting equipment. 